Hello everyone, this is Chandrakala Nomala. Welcome back to the another wonderful session with Salesforce CPQ. In this session, today we are going to cover what is guided selling in CPQ and when this guided selling will be used, how to configure guided selling in Salesforce CPQ. So let's see what is guided selling in CPQ. So many successful salespersons don't sell products. What they'll do is they'll help their customers in selecting the right products, what they want to buy. That means this guided selling within a Salesforce CPQ is like an experienced salesperson who knows and the details about all the product combinations throughout the large product catalog. So the main use case and the main for this uh, guided selling in CPQ that will enable so that a user can quickly sort through the large product catalog to find what exactly they are looking for to make their search easier and to sales rep, uh, this will help guided selling will help to close their deals faster. And this guided selling will be added and this will be prompted on the code creation when sales rep wants to add the products. What, what will be involved and how to configure this guided selling in Salesforce CPQ? In order to configure this, there are three main things. That is code process field, process input field, and process input condition fields. So let's review overall guided selling steps. In order to configure guided selling steps, first we need to identify what kind of a like guided selling process we want to build. Once we identify that, then for our um, guided selling process, we need to identify and create uh, fields to support this guided selling in product object. Once you have the fields created on the product object, we need to create same set of mirror fields on the process input object as well. And once we have the fields created on the process input, and the third step is the added fields, API names, we need to add as a pick list values on the product field as well as product type field as well as input field on the process input object only. And the fourth step is we need to create a code process with the defined process name and process input or records related process input records as well as process input condition for each process input record once we have all this process input and process input condition everything is created that means your code process is ready for for the uh, guided selling so how we can connect this guided selling on the code so that for that purpose, which is a last piece, which is automation, we need to use automation in the sense we can use flow, uh, Salesforce flow, whenever a code is created uh, based on the condition, based on the organization condition, we want to pre-populate, the, we want to auto-populate the guided code process ID on the code so that whenever sales rep wants to add lines, add products by going through the edit lines, they'll be prompted with all the pre-configured steps so that it makes the search easier and they can add products quickly, sort the products, sort their products quickly and add products to their code lines. So let's see uh, in action. So let's go back to our Salesforce so as the first step as we discussed first thing first thing is we need to add fields on the product object so for this purpose my condition is i want to um, like you know sort all the product family uh, as well as um, i want to uh, based on the product family based on the hardware type cpu and region i want to sort my product catalog for this one this is my requirement so for this one since i already have a family standard field on the product object so we need to create hardware type uh, 
and the CPU and region three custom fields on the product object. For demo purpose, I have already created these three fields. Hardware type, here you can see this with a pick list value I have created on the product with the CPU, desktop, printer and laptop. So same field with the same API name, we need to create these are mirror fields on the process input also. So first one is hardware type and the second one I mentioned I have created a CPU and a CPU also pick list and the region also pick list. The CPU have added i5 and i7 and the region I have added uh, US uh, EMEA and APAC. Um, so these three new fields I have added since we already have the family field on the product object okay so now uh, this is the region field uh, same us apac EMEA. so now this is the first step um, for three fields i have added since i already have a family now the second step is we need to create same set of mirror fields on the process input object since we don't have family here so what i'll do is i have created already a family field here and i copied the same set of pick list values from the product object and uh, other hardware type and CPU region also I have added so four fields I have added here and now the third step is all these four uh, pick list values we need to include these API names on first one is product field under the product field so on, on product what we have added only three fields right those three fields api names i have added here under the product field on the process input object okay and the second one is the second field is input field which is a process input field so these two fields are the key fields defining the process in the input fields i have added four pick list values because i have added four fields on this process input object which is a family hardware type cpu and region so you can see I have added family region cpu hardware type okay so this is done and now what's our third step is creating a code process so let me go back to code process here so i just have created one code process for the demo purpose so you can see i have named as a um, guided selling here uh, and uh, guided only i have checked this checkbox guided only equals true so this will help users for their search to add products only when this is selected when user access the product selection page for a code containing this code process this is a main uh, filter process if this is not checked so the, uh, the criteria and even if it is matches they don't be prompted with the guided selling prompt okay and the sort order that if uh, it uh, if you have multiple code processes and this will define um, order of uh, like you know pro um, display so right now i have created only one so i'm not going to select this one so once we have um, just uh, defined a uh, guided selling and for this uh, purpose we need only these two fields required for now i have added um, then the next thing is process if we go back to the related and process input this process input is where we need to define all our input conditions so let me open one process input here here the input uh, we can see set of fields input name label and uh, like the uh, display order input name uh, here we just need to give the input name what's your uh, input name for this is if you are going with the product family so that's why i have added as a because my input condition is based on the family and the label the label is defines the question that your 
prompt like you know whenever user wants to see this will up front a user can see what type of products you are looking for so user can see this label so this is where we need to add the question and the next one is um, active so that means if this is active then only this process input condition will met and input field this input field salesforce cpq evaluates this field to determine the possible answers that the user can select so the process input um, salesforce cpq shows like this one based on the input field condition so evaluation of evaluation criteria when users select the specific family and the under the product filter it's a product field so what this product field salesforce cpq evaluates how this field value compare the user answer from the input condition so between this product field and the input field so it cpq will evaluates the criteria and based on the operator equal so that means my product family if this is equals to the input field family then your result will be uh, guided selling will suggest based on this selection so let's uh, so uh, similar way i have created uh, records uh, process input records for hardware type uh, cpu as well as the device region so you can see i uh, have created um, hardware type which type of hardware product you are looking for in the label and the same way product field would be hardware type and the input field is hardware type if this is equals then only uh, in the guided selling will show the appropriate products in similar way cpu i uh, have created process input record for cpu which processor you are you want to select and the, my input field is cpu and my product field is cpu as well if this matches then the result will a guided selling will suggest uh, based on the search result a similar way device region which region this product will be used and the my input field is region and product field is region as well and now the another step now we have created code process and process input and last thing what we need to do is process input condition how you want to display all these questions do you want to display these questions to the end user based on the first question input let's say if they select product family as hardware then you want to display or uh, next question cpu once they answer cpu then you want to display uh, which region they want to use these products so if you want to display i mean if you want to show this uh, question sequentially based on the first question input then we need to add for that purpose we need to add process input conditions this process input uh, helps to appear in response to the first question so what process input condition have first one is uh, let me open this one process input condition and this is one to one with process input and one process input will have one process input condition so if you see here process input condition name and the master process input this master uh, and this is the value of the process input that determines whether this process input condition evaluates true equals and hardware so the same thing we are using operator equals hardware here so in the similar way once we have the process input conditions created for all our process input that means our code process is fully ready for uh, to be added to the code on the code so that is the last step in this guided selling so right now we have the uh, like you know we have created success we have created successfully this code process with process input conditions and process as along with the process input as well so now we want to add uh, this code process 
uh, on one, like you know on the codes how we can relate this code process with a code so for that one we need to use flow whenever a code is created i mean right now we have only one code process so we can just pick this code process and uh, populate on the code but uh, if we have multiple code process based on the condition what we can do is we can just pick um, based on the condition whenever a code is created so we need to copy uh, populate so this is the id i am talking about code process id uh, so we need to populate the code process id on the code code there is a field called code process id so here you can see this is a code guided selling process id to use with this code if any that means here uh, we cannot populate manually every time like you know so that's why once we have a business criteria whenever a code is created by using flow we can auto populate this code process id so that whenever a sales rep wants to add products this guided selling will be helpful to add make their search uh, easier by uh, searching through a large catalog so now we have i have already created this code and uh, at the time my code process got created here id got populated so now if i let's see our guiding uh, guided selling in action so once i click on this edit lines <clears throat> And if I want to add products, then you can see our guided selling in action mode here. See guided selling is loading. And so we have, uh, based on the criteria, we have four hardware type. So let's say what type of a products are you looking, looking for? So let me select as hardware and CPU and which processor I'll select as i5 and suggest so i have not selected um, a region so only uh, i have selected cpu and um, for this one i got like you know when i click on suggest so this is what so you can see here since this code has a code process guided selling uh, process on this code so you can see you can just go back and change your um, software or device you can always refine your uh, criteria and you can just clear uh, like you know your guided selling will be up uh, will be here it's suggested toggle so you can just let's say if i want to uh, use only software so i don't want to any other uh, like you know regions now this will give you search for all the products related to the product family software so so again i can bring this toggle for guided selling and i can change my criteria and if i want to use only for the software so i'm not going more granular only i'm searching here in this guided selling based on my product family so this is the you can see the symbol for guided selling so this is how the guided selling will work in salesforce cpq which will enables the user to make their search and make uh, close their deals faster so this is all about uh, guided selling please subscribe to salesforce tech book and i'll provide references to the guided selling and uh, please uh, watch and practice and happy learning thank you all